Welcome back, guys, to another video of Doki Doki. This is part of whatever. I don't give a sh. It's, on, it's in the thumbnail, all right? The are not part is. So we're gonna continue on to where we left off, which I have no idea. But I do remember we were supposed to make a poem for them to read. Oh, I'm so excited. What should we do? What should we add? Let's add some vitality. Let's add some Doki Doki. <laughs> Let's add some horror. This is random letters. I don't even know if this correlates to the story or changes it in any way, but whatever. I'm just gonna do fireflies. I'm gonna do determination. I'm gonna do lipstick. <laughs> I'm gonna Papa. What the fuck? That's Papa now. We're doing Papa. We're gonna do uh, anime. We're gonna do Sue. Oh, wait. God damn. Okay. It got dark. Jesus Christ, these two is... I should censor that. <laughs> we're gonna do headphones. <laughs> Just gonna avoid that, Jesus. And we're gonna do... We're gonna do shiny. We're gonna do existence. We're gonna do socks. Swimsuit. Kawaii. God, dude, capable. And we're gonna do tenacious. And we're gonna do the charm. And let's not forget sensation. And... Um... Fester! Oh, one more? Okay, yeah, let's do unstable friends. All nice. Jesus Christ, what ha- What would happen if I wrote a poem that's like f***ed up? But apart from that, another day passes and it's time for the club meeting already. Oh my god! I've gotten a little more comfortable here over the past couple of days, as you should. We're filled with women. There's women everywhere, come on. Entering the club room, the usual scene greets me. Sayare! Hey, Achi Lord! What's good, b <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you're in a good mood today. Uh, I guess. <laughs> I'm just still not used to you being in the club, that's all. <laughs> Sayori, I guess. I see. What do you mean? It's been my second day here, right? That's a pretty simple thing to get. That's a pretty simple thing to get you in a good mood. <laughs> She's a simple person, you know? I like simplistic people. Simple people are the best. But I guess it's always simple things with you anyway. <laughs> I guess. Speaking of which, I'm kind of hungry. Are you? You're, you're, you're hungry? Will you come with me to buy a snack? A snack? That's, that's not like you at all. I have my reasons. Why don't we take a look at your purse, Sayori? Hey. Why that all of a sudden? To see if she has money? <laughs> I just wanted to look at it. Okay, sure. Sayori nervously retrieves her coin purse. Alright, she fumbles with the latch and gets it open. Then, she turns it upside down and lets all its contents spill onto the desk. Wait, what? Just fucking, you dig through. Why would you need to flip it? God, only two small coins fall out. I guess. Ah, I knew it! She was trying to freeload off me! How could you? You little b Whatever, that's fine, sir. I'll pay for you. I'm not a bad person. Though I'd rather give all my money to Yuri more. That's not fair. What's not fair? How do you even know? I just, I'm, I'm, I'm good at that. It's simple. If you had enough money in the first place, you would have bought a snack before coming to the collab room. That's a good point. So either you're not hungry and you wanted an excuse to take a walk. Oops, or you plan to conveniently forget that you spent all your money so that I would lend you some. Yes, she did. Uh, it's fine. Jesus. God. Give her a snack. God. She, she, she kind of needs it. But there's one more thing. You're always hungry. Hey, I can relate to Sayori. And so, that only leaves one option. She's hungry! Ooh, ah! <laughs> I give up! You're, uh, don't make me feel guilty! Alright, I won't make you feel guilty. If you feel guilty, that means you deserve to feel... <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I'm a... <laughs> All right, straight to the point. <laughs> Yuri just bumps in. Yuri suddenly giggles. <laughs> I didn't notice that she was listening. She's right in there. Her face is in her book as always. Where? Ah, I wasn't listening or anything. Bullsh! Yuri, you're a liar. It's written all over your face, uwu. It was just something in my book. Oh yeah. What part? Let me see. Yuri. Tell Echi Lord, <laughs> God damn it, that name. Why did I choose it? Tell Echi Lord to let me borrow some money. Jesus Christ, bitch. I already said yes. Well, the real me said yes, but the main me is a bitch. That's 
Don't get me involved like that, Sayori. Jesus. <laughs> God. Everybody's so so stuck up. Besides, you should only buy what you can responsibly afford. <laughs> speaking! Speaking of responsible responsibly afford. If you guys play League of Legends or, you know, have heard of it, I made a video about me unboxing orbs or event items in the game. And I unboxed about 60 orbs for a League of Legends game. If you guys want to watch that, it's down in the description for you to just watch. To check out if you want to. But apart from that, Sh Yuri, has a, Yuri, Yuri has a point. And frankly, after pulling a mischievous little stunt like that, your suffering is fair enough retribution. God damn. <laughs> Whoa, wow. Ah! She goes, ah! Ah! I mean, I mean a girly voice, like... I, I I didn't mean it like that. So adorable. Ugh. I got too absorbed into my book. Ah Why did you just burst out laughing? What the f I really like when you speak your mind, Yuri. Yes, I I, I do too. Mm. Mm. It doesn't happen much, but it's a fun side of you. There's no way you could think that. You're right though. I did something bad enough to accept the revolution. The revolution? Jesus Christ, did we start a war? Retribution. <laughs> <laughs> the revolution! Oh, that! Yeah, that! That retribution sh I will accept. Still, coming from you, Sayori. I guess there's a little devil inside all of us, isn't there? Oh god. Oh god. Is the game about to get dark yet? Jesus, don't. Please. I'm having so much fun. Don't ruin it. <laughs> don't let her fool you. Sayori knows exactly what she's doing. After all, she told you guys she was bringing me here to the club room before she even told me. I guess, but you wouldn't have come if if there weren't cupcakes. Dude, come on. Of course, I wouldn't come if there weren't cupcakes. Jesus, Sayori, what, what do you think I am? So I had to trick Natsuki into making them. You had to trick Natsuki into... How how do you trick that f***ing woman? How, how do you trick that woman? Come on, give me more credit than that, Sayori. Yeah, bitch, I had to walk here. I had to take... A lot of steps, alright, to get to this room. Whoa, did I just slap her? Whoa! <laughs> Kya! Out of nowhere, something smacks Sayori in the face and tumbles onto the desk. Ow! <laughs> yeah, Jesus, that surprised me too. What the f? <laughs> that little whoppa sound! What was. Eh? A cookie. A cookie made that sound. It's supposed to make like a. Actually, no, that's not even the sound. It's like a poop or something, like a, a quiet hit. That was like a slap, like whoop -ha! Jesus, a cookie did that. Sure enough, it's a giant cookie wrapped in plastic. Eh, I guess. So Yuri glances around. What? What? Is this a miracle? What are you talking about? It's because I paid my arrest to... What? My rest to... Res... 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 Oh my god. The restoration of something lost or stolen to its proper owner rest i've never heard of that word that's that's a first retribution oh right <laughs> she's actually that one almost worked yeah i guess it kind of almost worked ah not to keep through the cookie jesus christ you you demon i was just gonna give it to you well that's a one way of giving it to her but then i heard you blab about the cupcakes yeah I, uh, it was totally worth seeing your reaction though <laughs> Not okay. she, she just she just threw a cook at Sayori. Who does that? Like catch bitch. <laughs> Wow. I'm so happy oh, so uh, Sayori Sayori hugs the cookie? Wait, what? How did if it's on the floor, right? It's a floor cookie. And she picks it up and hugs it? I don't think the cookie's big enough to hug. It's like you uh, it, you know it doesn't matter. She she hugs the cookie. She is just eat it. That's that's the that's the issue here. Sayori rapidly tears open the wrapper and takes a long bite. Oh, it's wrapped. Okay, that's good. Oh, that's good. I thought it was just like a normal cookie unwrapped, <laughs> and she just fucking threw it like a frisbee at Sayori. But at least it was wrapped, I guess. Nice. So good. Is it really so good? What what kind of cookie is this? You guys would probably hate me for this, but my favorite cookie is raisin oatmeal. That's right, I don't like chocolate chips. I mean, I can eat it, but I prefer raisin oatmeal. I'm weird, I know, I know. Sayori suddenly clasped her hands over her mouth. Wait, why? Why? 
I bit my tongue. Nice. You ate, you ate a cookie. How do you bite your tongue from that? I should take a huge bite, but wouldn't that fill your mouth to make it less bitey? I. Uh, what am I saying? <laughs> You're going through a lot over just one cookie. That is just one cookie after all. She is losing her. Shit. Natsuki takes a bite of her own cookie. She has more. Just pass me one. Throw it. Ah, yours looks really good too, Natsuki. What? What do you mean? Can I try it? Oh, it's different kinds of cookies. Can I see? Why, why aren't you showing me? I want to see. More. Jeez. Beggars can be chosers. But yours is chocolate. <laughs> she's kind of... She, 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 she did not listen at all. <laughs> yeah. Why do you think I gave you that one? What? What did she give you? Still, I'm really happy that you shared this one with me. She gave you the sh one, dude. Why are you happy about that? She's really clutching at straws. My god. <laughs> Sarah gets out of her seat and goes behind Natsuki, then wraps her arms around her. Oh. Oh. My. <laughs> okay. Ma. This is f***ing weird. Should, should I? Should I blur all of this? Cookie is still in hand. Natsuki reaches to nudge Sayori off of her. Oh! Um, Sayori suddenly leans down and takes a bite of Natsuki's cookie. Whoa! 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 That's her cookie! Hey! Hey! <laughs> did you seriously just do that? Yes, she did. Ooh! Gotcha, bitch. Mouthful. Sayori trots away to safety. Yuri and I laugh as well. What a funny, what a, what a funny thing. She bit my cookie, it's hilarious. Jeez, you're such a kid sometimes. Speak of the devil! Monica! Can you tell Sayori? Eh? Natsuki glances around. Monica isn't in the club room. Yeah, why isn't she in the club room? That's... Oh, isn't she like the early bird one? Because she's the president or some shit. Oh, where's Monica anyway? Good question. You're right. Have any of you heard of anything about her being late today? That is very strange of Monica to be late, not me. Yeah, I haven't heard either. Hmm, that's a bit unusual. I hope she's okay. Of course she's okay, Natsuki says. She probably just had something to do today. She's pretty popular after all, Natsuki ends. Sayuri goes, eh? <laughs> you don't think she... She has a... Ah, I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, Yuri stammers. She's probably more desirable than all of us combined. Whoa, 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 whoa! Yuri, you're, you're the hottest one in the club room. What are you talking about? And I'm not just saying that because I. <laughs> <laughs> eh, that's true. Natsuki screams. Excuse me! Suddenly the door swings open. Monica rushes in. Sorry, I'm super sorry. Ah, there you are. I say. I didn't mean to be late. Monica says, I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Yeah, we're not worried, don't worry. Eh? Sayori says, Monica chose the club over her boyfriend after all. You're so strong-willed. <laughs> but boyfriend Monica questions. What on earth are you talking about? Monica quizzically glances at me. Why, why are you looking at me? Ah, never mind that. What held you up anyway? I say, well, my last period today was study hall, she says. To be honest, I kind of just lost track of time. I guess. <laughs> that makes no sense though. Yeah, true. That 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 makes no sense. God. You would have heard the bell ring, at least. I must not have heard it since I was practicing piano, Monica explains. What? You're stupid. What does that even mean? What? What? How do you... I'm pretty sure the bell is louder than your piano unless you got headphones on or something. There has to be a reason you couldn't hear it. P piano? I wasn't aware you played music as well, Monica. I don't really... I was kind of... I, I just kind of started. <laughs> I always wanted to learn piano. Oh yeah? Same. That's so cool. You should play something for us, Monica. That's... Monica looks at me. Maybe once I get a little bit better, I will. Why'd you look at me for that shit, huh? Jesus, that's that sounds cool. I'd also look forward to it. Is that so? Uh, not really. In that case, I won't let you down, at you, Lord. Oh boy, she just she just pushes everybody away with her ass. Monica smiles sweetly. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! You're playing with a man's heart, Monica. I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. Ah, uh, don't worry. I've been practicing a whole lot recently. And I really love the chance to share once I'm ready. I see. In that case, best of luck. 
Thanks, Monica says. So I didn't miss anything, did I? Not, not really. I chose to leave out Sayori's mischievous escapades. <laughs> I'm sure Natsuki will end up complaining to her anyway. It looks like everyone has already settled down. Sayori somehow already finished her entire cookie. Yuri is back to her book and Natsuki disappeared into the closet. Nick, what? <laughs> oh, that's where she chills. There's a seat there. I guess. That's one way to stay at a club room. Why doesn't she? It's an open room. Jesus. We can f*** with her, dude. We can just lock it or block it somehow. I'm really curious to talk to Yuri a little bit more. But at the same time, I would feel bad for distracting her from reading. I catch a, I catch a glimpse of recover from her book. It looks like the same book she lent to me. More than that, she seems to be on the first few pages. Uh, what? I stared too long, huh? Crap. Wait, that's a swear word. Sh censor it. I think she noticed me looking at her. She's looking at me? Oh my god, my heart's racing! She sneaks another glance at me and our eyes meet for a split second. Oh god, that's really awkward, but kinda hot. But that only makes her hide her face deeper in her book. So sorry, I was just spacing out. I muttered this, sensing I made her uncomfortable. Oh, it's fine. If I was focused, then I probably wouldn't have noticed in the first place. I'm I'm pretty focused as well. I'm I'm just rereading a bit of this, so that's a book you gave me, right? Yep, yep. I wanted to reread some of it. Not for any particular reason, really. Just curious. How come you have two copies of the same book? Ah, uh, well, when I stopped at the bookstore yesterday. What? What do you mean? I mean, I just happened to buy two of them. Okay, that's weird. Why would you buy two books? That's kind of weird. Who who does that? Moreover, who buys books? Jesus, ebooks exist, guys. Come on, there's a huge, a huge catalog of free sh on the floor. Why, why would you waste money, Yuri? There's something fairly obvious here that Yuri isn't telling me, but I decide to let it go. I'll definitely start reading it soon. I'm glad to hear. Okay. Once it starts to pick up, you might have a hard time putting it down. Okay. It's a very engaging and relatable story. Is, is that so? What, what's it about anyway? Well, hmm, he recloses the book and scans her eyes over the back. The book is titled Portrait of Markov. There's an ominous looking eye symbol in the front cover. Alright, all I, I just wanted to make sure I don't accidentally give anything away. What, what do you mean? Basically, it's about a girl in high school who moves in with her long lost younger sister. But as soon as she does so, her life gets really strange. She gets targeted by these people who escaped from a human ex- What the- What a human experiment prison- What the f And while her life is in danger, she needs to desperately choose who to trust? What is going- Her sister! What do you mean? It's not hard. No matter what she does, she ends up destroying most of her relationships. And her life starts to fall- This is a f up story! Okay. <laughs> uh, alright. That's kind of, yeah, that's kind of dark, isn't it? Yuri made it sound like it was going to be a nice story, so that dark turn came from nowhere. <laughs> Yuri gently giggles all of a sudden. <laughs> ah! Are you not a fan of that sort of thing, as she lord? No, it's not that. I mean, I could definitely enjoy those kinds of stories, so don't worry. I, I hope so. Yeah, I totally forgot that Yuri is into those things. She's so shy and reclusive on the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different. It's just that those kinds of stories, they challenge you to look at life from a strange new perspective. I... I, I guess. When horrible things happen, not just because someone wants to be evil, but because they have their own goals and their own philosophy that they believe in. And then suddenly, when you thought you related to the protagonist, they're made out to be naive for, for letting their one-sided morals interfere with the villains. Okay, uh, this is a little... That's one way to interpret it. Uh, can't it just be a f***ed up story, Yuri? God, you're giving it so much meaning than it should have. Okay, I'm I'm rambling, aren't I? Yeah, you're pretty. Not again. I'm, I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything. Well, I guess it's alright then. I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem when I let things like books and writing fill my thoughts. I kind of forget to pay attention to the other people. So I'm sorry if I end up saying anything strange. And please stop me if I start talking too much. It's kind of hot. It's a literature club after all. Ah, uh, that's 
Well, that's true. In fact, I might as well get started reading it, right? You don't, you don't, you, you don't have to. Uh, what are you saying? Just a moment ago, you said you were looking forward to it. Let me just get the book. <laughs> I quickly retrieved the book I had put into my bag. All right, it's fine if I sit here, right? I slip in to the seat next to Yuri's. Ah, y yeah, are, are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive. That's, I'm sorry, it's not that I don't want you to. Just something I'm not very used to. That, that is reading in company with someone. I see. Well, we just sit together. We don't have to speak. Like, <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> That's not the point. Just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. Why? Are you going to start stabbing yourself while you read this? Okay, I open the book and start the prologue. I soon understand what Yuri means about reading in company. It's as if I can feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. It's not a particularly bad thing. Maybe a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. Yuri is in the corner of my eye. I realize that she's not actually looking at her own book. What? I glance over. Looks like she's reading from my book instead. So sorry I was I was just oh Yuri, you really apologize a lot, don't you? I I, I do. I, I don't really mean to. Sorry. I mean ha <laughs> she's so cute. <laughs> Here, this should work, right? Wait what? I slide my desk until it's up against yours, then hold my book more between the two of them. Uh I suppose so. You really timidly closes her own copy. Once we lean in a little bit, our shoulders are almost touching. Ooh, this group reading sh**. I remember that in elementary school. <laughs> we used to do that. When we're, when there were limited books, we had to like share it with people. We had to like stick our desks together. And I would always end up with the ugly fat kid. God damn it! But I guess it makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. Here. Oh, we're teaming. This is hot. This is hot. This is hot. Ah! Yuri takes her left arm and holds it to the left side of the book between her thumb and forefinger. This game is amazing. I do the same thing with my right arm on the right side of the book. That way I turn the page and Yuri slides it under her thumb after it flips to her side. But in holding it like this, <laughs> we're huddled even closer together than before. Together, oh my god, bleh! Together than before. It's actually kind of distracting me. What? You can feel the warmth of her face and she's in the corner of my vision. Mm. 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 Wait, there's a computer there? I, I preferred that. Are you ready? Ready? <laughs> what? Aren't we reading the prologue already? To, to turn the page. Oh. Ah, sorry. I think I got a bit distracted for a second. I glance over at your face again. Our eyes meet. Ah! Ah! She's looking at me! I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. Ah, uh -huh. that's okay. You're not as used to reading, right? I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. It's probably the least I can do, since you've been so patient with me. Y yeah, <laughs> that's the problem here. Oh my god, she smiles a little. <laughs> Thanks. We continue reading. Yuri no longer asks me if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assume that she <laughs> finishes the page before me. So I turn it by my own volition. <laughs> It's so cute. Uh, uh, <laughs> Alright, I was gonna turn it. I was reading this, dude. You're, you're way too fast. We're just reading together now. Okay. We continue the first chapter in silence. I guess. Even so, turning each page almost feels like an intimate exchange. No, shit. I am next to her. This is so hot. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, beauty. Don't look at my pants. My thumb's gently letting go of the page. Letting it flutter over her side as she catches it under her own thumb. Hey, hey, Yuri. This this might be a silly thought, but that the main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. <laughs> you, you you think so? How does she? Well, I guess she's more blunt in a lot of ways. She also second guesses all the things she says and does. Like she's afraid to do something wrong. It's not like I can see into your head or anything. But they're, they're kind of reminiscent of your mannerisms. I, I see. Uh, you remain silent for a moment. But Echi Lord, that's probably a terrible thing to have in common with her. Uh, so that's embarrassing to think that. Wait! I didn't mean it in a bad way or anything. I love you, stupid! 
<laughs> Sorry, I didn't think you were self-conscious about that sort of thing. Da, 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 da. I guess I more meant that is that it's kind of cute. Oh shit! Oh shit! Wapa! Wapa! Just shooting at her. Wapa! Are you attracted to me yet? Wapa! <laughs> Wapa! Are you wet? Doesn't this just make you waterfall, Yuri? What are you saying all of a sudden? I okay. <laughs> you, Monica, you're such a vlog. I was so close. I was this close to smashing Monica. Come on, God. Eat. Here he goes. I think it's about time we share today's poems with each other. Monica ends. We might not have enough time if we wait too long. Monica says. Yuri is right. Yuri exhales and spared from finishing her thought. Is that alright, Yuri? You look kind of down. I'm sorry if you haven't been looking forward to this. It's not. It's fine. Yuri releases her, her hand from the book, causing it to close on, on top of her thumb. Wait, on my thumb? I mean, oops. I guess I'll do some more reading tonight. Or would you prefer I read it or only read it with you? That's kind of cute. Um, I guess I don't have too much of a preference either way. In that case, I'll read a little more tonight. Okay, it'll be more fun to read with you after it picks up a bit, you know? That's a, that's good reasoning. In that case, feel free to finish the first two chapters on your own time. Alright, I stand up. I make a mental note of where I left stuff in the book, then slip it back into my bag. Who should I show my poem to first? Oh boy. Let's do Monica. She does crazy good poems. The last one was amazing. Hi again, Echi Lord. What up, B? How's the writing going? It's, uh, random. <laughs> it's a good way to describe my poem. It's alright, I guess. I'll take that. As long as it's not going bad, I'm happy that you're applying yourself. Maybe soon you'll come up with a masterpiece. <laughs> I wouldn't count on that. But you never know. Want to share what you wrote for today? Sure, here you go. I give my poem to Monica. Monica uh, reads it. All right. Great job, Etchy Lord. I was going oh in my head while reading it. Oh. <laughs> oh. It's really metaphorical. It's metaphorical. <laughs> it reminds me of that fucking Guardians of the Galaxy scene. It's metaphorical. <laughs> I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. I guess I underestimated you. It's easiest for me to keep with everyone's expectations low. Hey! Hey! Keep it high with me, bitch. That way it always counts when I put in some effort. Haha, <laughs> that's not very fair. Well, I guess it worked anyway. You know that Yuri likes this kind of writing, right? Yuri? Writing that's full of imaginary and symbolism? Unlike Sayori, who is just using simple and direct words to describe happiness and sadness, Yuri likes it when readers are left to derive their own meaning out of it. It's very challenging to write that effectively, both allowing people to get something out of it just by feel, or letting them deeply analyze all the nu nuances. It can take years of practice, which I'm assuming Yuri has at this point. I never really asked, though. I'm sure I'm nowhere near her level yet. Don't worry so much about that. You do your own thing. Just keep exploring and learn by trying new things. But anyway, you want to read my poem now? I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. Alright, let's take a look. Okay, save me. The colors, they won't... <laughs> That's the title? Save me? The colors, they won't stop. Bright, beautiful colors. Flashing, expanding, piercing. Red, green, blue. An endless cacophony of meaningless noise. The noise, it won't stop. Violent grating waveforms, squeaking, screeching, piercing, sine, cosine, tangent. <laughs> All right, like playing a chalkboard on a turntable, like playing a vinyl on a pizza crust. What? An endless poem of meaningless. Wait, what the f all right, let me let me reread that again. All right, after reading it again, this is a little more. Um, how do I say? Load me. What? Why does it say load me? Save me. Load me. Wait, is this like? Because it says save me. You know, like game saving and load me, like l game loading. That's weird. It's an okay, nice poem. Um, left me confused. Kind of wanted to analyze it more, but hmm, it's even more abstract than your last one, huh? Yeah, really abstract. Ah, I guess it's just 
the way I write abstract. Sorry if you didn't like it. I never said that. It's just the kind of thing I've never really seen before, I guess. I kind of like playing with my space on the paper. Choosing where and how to space your words can totally change the mood of a poem. Yeah, talk about the spacing. You put the load me at the very end. It's almost like magic. The way I wrote the lines really short makes it feel like they're trying to speak over the noise. Kinda. It's still hard for me to tell what's it about though. Yeah, I know, right? Sometimes asking what a poem is about isn't the right question. A poem can be as abstract as a physical expression of a feeling or a conversation with the reader. She's got a point. So putting it that way, not every poem is about something. I guess. Anyway. Here's Monica's writing tip of the day! <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Sometimes you'll find yourself facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. Whoa, 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 whoa! Okay, I'm saving. Save. Um. Why, why would she tell me to save? That's so weird and wall breaking. What the f? What are you talking about? You never know when you might change your mind. Or when something unexpected may happen. E Wait, is this tip even about writing? What am I even talking about? Ha! <laughs> That's my advice for the day. Whoa, whoa, thanks for listening. What the f? This is so creepy. That's so weird. That's so weird to just say. Okay, she won't broke broke the game. Um, I didn't expect that honestly. That came out of nowhere. It surprised me. But uh, Sayori, let's 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 do Sayori. Oh, I like this one. Actually, Lord, it has some nice feelings in it. <laughs> I'm glad. Does that mean it's better than yesterday's? <laughs> Let me think. I don't know. I guess I like them both. Hey, <laughs> that's not very helpful, you know. Well, I'm not very good at figuring out if poems are good or bad, but that's why I just go by my heart. If it makes me feel things, then it must be a good poem. I'm not sure that's exactly how it works. Then again, I guess conveying feelings is pretty important and part of this whole thing. Honestly, I don't even know what kind of writing you like in the first place. Yeah, true. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> she, Sayori is a bra moment. Why don't you at least try giving it some thought? Aw, uh, you want to write something for me? That's so sweet. Yeah, right. But you're always thinking about other people. You need to think about yourself once in a while. If you don't, you might end up getting hurt at some point. Oh, eh? Well, I don't really know what you mean, but I'll try to keep it in mind. She's really this face. It's like she's really focused and determined to find out what the f I just meant. Anyway, let's see. Hmm. I guess I like the happy poems. Well, wait, sometimes I like sad poems too. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh god, oh god. <laughs> oh god, oh god. Don't turn the game yet, please. Sayori is so cute too. Don't, don't die. Sometimes a little bit of both. Oh god. Oh god. There's a word for that, right? What's the word I'm looking for? Bittersweet. That's not the word. Is it? Is that the word? I guess it's kind of bittersweet. I like things that are happy and things that are sad. Happy and sad? That's hap- Yeah, that's happy and sad. That's not happy or sad. I can't see you liking something sad, Sayori. Well, I like happy the most, but sometimes when you have a little rain cloud in your head. Oh, Sayori. Oh. A sad poem can give the rain cloud a little hug. No, it doesn't, you stupid! It brings thunder, you dumb b and can make a happy rainbow. That's bullshit, Sayori. I'm t <laughs> I don't believe you <laughs> in the slightest. Eh, it is? Maybe I'm getting better at expressing my feelings after all. Thanks, Echi Lord. I should go write that down then. You can read my poem now, okay? Oh shit, this is a lot more, okay? Bottles. It's called bottles. I pop off my scalp like the lid of a cookie jar that doesn't work like that okay it's the secret place where i keep all my dreams oh you literally took it off like a cookie jar lid oh sh little balls of sunshine all rubbing together like a bundle of kittens 
I reach inside with my thumb and forefinger and pluck one out. That's okay. It's warm and tingly. Okay. Oh, but there's no time to waste. I put it in a bottle to keep it safe. And I put the bottle on the shelf with all the other bottles. Happy thoughts. Happy thoughts. Happy thoughts and bottles. All in a row. My collection makes me lots of friends. Each bottle a starlight to make amends. Sometimes my friends feel a certain way. Down comes a bottle to save the day. Night after night more dreams. Friend after friend more bottles. Deeper and deeper my fingers go like exploring a dark cave. Discovering the secrets hiding in the nooks and crannies. Okay, digging and digging. Scraping and scraping? Jesus. I blow dust off my bottle caps. It doesn't feel like time elapsed. My empty shelf could use some more. My friends look through my locked front door. Finally all done. I open up and in come my friends. In they come in such a hurry. Do they want my bottles that much? I frantically pull them from the shelf one after the other, holding them out to each and every friend, each and every bottle. But every time I let one go, it shatters against the tile between my feet. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts. Happy thoughts and shards all over the floor. They were supposed to be for my friends. My friends who aren't smiling. They're all shouting, pleading, something, but all I hear is echo, 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 inside my head. Oh shit. No shit. I, 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 I don't know what to think about that one. Holy crap. Yeah, Jesus. So Yuri, did you really write this? Of course I did. Didn't I tell you yesterday I was gonna write the best poem ever? Yeah, but I mean, I didn't expect something like this coming from you. Monica taught me a whole lot. Whoa, and I have been really in touch with my feelings recently. Uh, this is how you feel? It's almost kind of creepy. Creepy? Well, not exactly. Maybe because I'm so used to you being so cheerful. Well, never mind. I'm thinking too hard about it. The point is, it came out good, and you should be proud of it. Oh, thanks. I feel like I, feel like I was meant to express myself this way. It even helps me understand my own feelings a little bit better. Oh, God. Writing is like magic. I've gotten pretty passionate about this, huh? I hope you keep it up. Yeah, writing's the best. I'm gonna keep writing until I die. Let's let's not jump to conclusions. <laughs> uh, don't get ahead of yourself. Sayori's al always has a habit of getting obsessed with something before dropping it. No matter, no more than a week later. I mean, uh, okay. Maybe she'll forget. I wonder if this is one of those times. Maybe. But seeing the passion in her eyes makes it hard for me to believe, or for me to be pessimistic. Oh god. Uh, I'll show it to Natsuki. I'll save Yuri the best for last. Natsuki? Well, it's not terrible. It's pretty disappointing after your, your last one. But then again, if this one was as good as your last one, I would be completely pissed. Well, I guess I want to try something a little different this time. Fair enough. You're still new to this, I wouldn't expect you to find your style right away. Come to think of it, this kind of reminds me of Sayori's poem from yesterday. Eh? You think so? Yeah, well I guess if you've been friends with her for so long, you might as well be on the same wavelength. F*** you. But you never really struck me as her type. Sayori has a type, all of a sudden. Well, I don't know, but honestly, how can someone so er, fluffy spend so much time with someone like you? <laughs> It's like she's dragging around a dead weight. Hey! Hey! That was a little unnecessary! If it weren't for me, she would probably just fly away like letting go of a balloon. You could say we each take care of each other in our own way. Maybe. Whatever it is, I don't get it. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to show my poem. Here. Okay, the writing. I can see the difference in handwriting too, I like that. Amy likes spiders. Okay, why why are the poems weird now? They were so they were so nice, man. They had so much meaning. And now they're Amy eat like spy what the f You know what whatever, it's fine. You know what I heard about Amy? Amy likes spiders. Icky, wriggly, hairy, ugly spiders. Jesus Christ! 
That's why I'm not friends with her. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Amy has a cute singing voice. I heard her singing my favorite love song. Each time she sang the chorus, my heart would pound to the rhythm of the words. But she likes spiders, so that's why I'm not friends with her. Whoa, 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 come on now. One time I hurt my leg really badly. Amy helped me up and she took me to the nurse. I tried not to let her touch me. She likes spiders, so her hands are probably gross. And that's why I'm not friends with her. Jesus Christ, man. Amy has a lot of friends. I always see her talking to people. She probably talks to spiders. Or talks about spiders, I mean. <laughs> One of her friends starts to like spiders too. That's why I'm not friends with her. It doesn't matter if she has other hobbies. It doesn't matter if she keeps it private. It doesn't matter if she doesn't hurt anyone. It's gross. She's gross. The world is better off without spider lovers. And I'm gonna tell everyone. Whoa. Calm down. And I'm gonna tell every. What does that mean? I'm gonna tell everyone. <laughs> She's gonna tell her she likes spiders? I mean, I wouldn't, you know, avoid or just or avoid anyone if they like spiders. I would just be a little bit more cautious. They probably have spider pets or some sh**. Not bad, right? Yeah, it's 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 okay. You're re you're really proud of this one, aren't you? <laughs> it's quite a <laughs> it's quite a bit longer than yesterday's. Yesterday's was way too short. I was just warming up. Yeah, b let me write a few more lines. God. I hope you didn't think that was the best I could do. No, come on, you could do better, I believe. No, of course not. Come on, come on. Anyway, the message is pretty straightforward in this poem. I doubt I have to explain it. Sometimes you can explain complicated issues with much simpler analogies, and it helps people recognize how stupid they're being. Like anyone would agree with the subject this poem is an ignorant jerk. What? It's kind of- I thought that was the point. You're an ignorant jerk. What? That's the point, right? Do you know people like that? Of course, it's all about how everything's in my... That doesn't matter, it can be about anything. I wrote it to be easy to relate to. Everyone has some kind of weird hobby or guilty pleasure. Stop. Stop, dude, stop. What's, what's yours? Something that you're afraid of people finding out. They'd make fun of you or think less of you. I guess, but I mean, I wouldn't hold it against anybody if, if you like something. <laughs> the f*** does that have to do with me, you know what I mean? This is like if you're gay. Imagine if the poem was about being gay. But that just makes people stupid. Who cares what someone likes as long as they're not hurting anyone and it makes them happy. I, exactly. I think people really need to learn to respect others for liking weird things. I guess that's a good message in a way. It's it's okay. Well, you're definitely right. At least I can relate to that. And I'm sure a lot of people can too. It's what I do best after all. I don't like writing unless there's a good message to take away from it. <laughs> like conveying emotions is important. But I want to make people think, not just feel. Remember that. I'm gonna write a good one for tomorrow too. Let's look forward to it. Oh my god, there's a tomorrow. All right, Yuri, let's see what you've written for today. Okay, what you got for me, Yuri? Yuri stares at the poem with a surprised expression on her face. Do you like it? Hey, Lord, how did you pick up on this so quickly? Just yesterday, I was telling you the kinds of techniques worth practicing. It's weird, because I just press random shit. Does it, do they give me different, like, uh, responses if I choose differently? I'm sure they do. Like, if I choose some dark shit. You know what? I'm gonna choose some dark sh this one. Just yesterday, I was telling you the kinds of techniques worth practicing. Maybe that's why. You did a good job explaining. I really wanted to try giving it more ima imagery. Yuri visibly swallows. Even her hands appear sweaty. I'm not used to this. Used to what? I don't know. It's fine. Take your time. Yuri breathes and collects her thoughts. I know Yuri likes to think before she speaks, so I offer her that patience. Okay. Yeah. Just... Being appreciated like this, I guess. It probably sounds really stupid, but seeing someone motivated by my writing it just makes me really happy. Are you saying you've never shared your writing before? Yuri nods. Really? I don't believe it. I really only write for myself, and besides, people would just laugh at me. Do you really think that? Yuri nods. 
Huh. Even your close friends? Yuri doesn't even respond to that. <laughs> I wonder why. Anyway, do you want to share the poem you wrote today? Yeah, I guess. If it's with you. Okay. That's adorable. If it's with me. Shut up, Yuri. Shut up before I kiss you. I guess let's start reading it. It happened in the dead of night while I was slicing bread for a guilty snack. Oh, her handwriting hurts me, honestly. My attention was caught by the scuttering of a raccoon outside my window. That was, I believe, the first time I noticed my strange tendencies as an unordinary human. I gave the raccoon a piece of bread. My subconscious was aware of the consequences. Well aware that a raccoon that is fed will always come back for more. The enticing beauty of my cutting knife was the symptom. Stop it! No! 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 The cutting knife was the symptom. The bread. My hungry curiosity. The raccoon. An, an urge. The, the moon increments its phase as it reflects that much more light off my cutting knife. Stop! What do you mean reflects to the cutting edge of your knife? What does that mean? Yuri, please. <laughs> Don't do this to me. <laughs> no. The same light that glistens in my eyes of my raccoon friend. I slice the bread fresh and soft. The raccoon becomes excited. Or perhaps I'm merely projecting my emotions onto newly, onto the newly satisfied animal. Bad animal. The raccoon has taken to following me. You could say that we've gotten quite used to each other. The raccoon becomes hungry and more and more frequently, so my bread is always handy. Every time I brandish my cutting knife, the raccoon shows me its excitement, a rush of blood, classic, pl pl I have no idea what that means, conditioning. I slice the bread, and I feed myself again. Um. Uh. Oh god, um. I was a little more daring with this one than yesterday's. I can I can see that. It's a lot more metaphorical. I don't know if it's my fault, but I can begin to imagine what this poem is about. That's right. It's a bit closer to my preferred writing style. Using the poem as a canvas to express vivid imagery and conveying emotions through them. Yeah, if I take it at face value, then I can't even figure out what it's supposed to mean well I think it's something that different people can relate to in their own way I want to express the way it feels for me to indulge in my unusual hobbies it's those sorts of things I'm usually forced to oh my god can you imagine if like I just pulled up like her uh, sleeves like your long sleeves this that and and you can just see like cuts and shit. F man Oh god, didn't Natsuki also write something about that? Someone about ridiculed for being... For for strange interests? Eh? She... she did? Yeah. She was talking about how it doesn't matter what you're into as long as you're not hurting anybody. She's right. Uh, I mean... Does she really feel that way? Yeah. Sounds like you two have that in common. That's... well, that's... that's interesting. To me, she seems like the kind of person who would just make fun of me for my hobbies. But I suppose that's my fault for judging, isn't it? Ah, please don't tell her I said that. <laughs> don't worry, I have no reason to. Okay, well, thank you for sharing it with me. After all, if I hadn't learned something, if I hadn't learned to embrace my own weirdness, I would probably hate myself. Your own weirdness. What is your weirdness exactly? As vague as this is, what is your weirdness, huh? You want to tell me? But I'm glad you're a good listener. Okay, everyone. Well, we're all done reading each other's poems, right? Yeah, goddamn! We rushed through that. And those were really a low key. They were giving subtle, you know, darkness. I don't know. I have something extra planned today. So if everyone could just sit in front of the room. Oh boy, is this about the festival? Well, sort of. Ugh, do we really have to do something for the festival? It's not like we can put together anything in just a few days. Well,. Just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. That's a concern of mine as well. I don't really do well with last minute preparations. Don't worry so much. We're going to keep it simple, okay? We don't need 
much more than a few decorations. Oh, we're gonna make a club party or something. A club room decor stuff, I don't know. Sarah has been working on posters and I've designed some pamphlets so we can give out during the event. Okay, uh, but that doesn't tell us what we're actually gonna be doing for the event. Oh, sorry, I thought you heard about it already. Well, we're gonna be performing. Perf performing? Per <laughs> You're just like, uh, Monica, ah, uh, don't say the P word, okay? Yeah, we're going to be having a poetry performance. Oh, God. That's embarrassing as f***. Each of us are going to choose a poem to recite during the event. But the cool part is, we're also going to let anybody else come up and recite poems, too. Sayori's so putting it on the posters in case anyone wants to prepare ahead of time. Oh, s***. Okay, I bet no one's gonna do it, but maybe there's gonna be a hand few. But that's it. Sayori has been coloring a poster, holds it up for us to see. Are you kidding me, Monica? You didn't you didn't already start putting those posters up, did you? Ah, uh, well, I did. Do you really think it's that bad of an idea? Well, no, it's not a bad idea, but I didn't sign up for this, you know. There's no way I'm gonna be performing in front of a group of people like that. I, I agree with Natsuki. I could never in my life, never in my life, bitch, do something like that. Imagining it, Yuri shakes her head in fear. <laughs> okay. K guys. No, Sayori, I understand where you're coming from. Remember that Natsuki and Yuri never asked, never shared their poems with anyone until just a couple of days ago. It's a lot to ask for them to recite their poems out loud to a whole f room full of people. Wait, what? I thought it was just like maybe in the hallway or <laughs> it's gonna be like on a stage. I guess I kind of overlooked that. I'm so I'm sorry. <laughs> but I still think we should give it our best. Damn, she's really apprehensive. I mean, apprehensive. She's really, she's really pushing this. We are the only ones responsible for the fate of this club. If we start the event and each put on a good performance, then it will inspire the others to do the same. And more people who perform, the better we'll be able to show everyone what literature is all about. It's about poems? Yeah, yeah. It's all about expressing your feelings. Oh, sorry. Being intimate. Okay, finding new horizons and having fun. That's that's right. And it's those reasons that we're all in this club today. Don't you want to share that with others to inspire them to find the same feeling that brought you here in the first place? I know you do. Did you look at me? I know we all do. And if all it takes is standing in front of the room for two minutes and reciting a poem, then I know you can do it, I, I guess. Uh, Natsuki and Yuri remain silent. <laughs> yes, I is worried. I guess that leaves me no choice. I agree. I don't think it's too much to ask. I think that Sayori and Monica have been trying really hard to get new members. These we can do is help them out a little bit. Well, maybe, but it looks like Natsuki doesn't have any arguments left. You, okay, fine. I guess I'll just have to get over it. Okay. Thanks, Natsuki. What about you, Yuri? Yuri's not gonna do it. Yuri dejectedly glances around at everyone's expectant faces. Yuri sighs, I guess. I don't really have a choice. <laughs> oh, sh it's everyone. You're the best, Yuri. This club is seriously going to be the death of me. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yuri, please! No! Don't jinx it! Stop it. You'll be fine, Yuri. But anyway, let's move on to the main event. Oh my god, oh my god. I want each of you to choose a poem of yours. We're going to practice reciting them in front of each other. No, no way. Ma Monica. <laughs> this is too sudden, I agree. Well, if you can't recite your poem in front of the club, how do you expect to do it in front of strangers? Oh no, don't worry. I'll stop. <laughs> yeah, her face. <laughs> I'll start off. I'll start off to help everyone feel a little more comfortable. All right. Can I go next? Jesus Christ. Of course. Now let's see. Monica flips through her notebook. The specific poem she has in mind for herself. She stands behind the podium. The title of this poem is The Way They Fly. Ahem. 
Monica begins reciting her poem. Her clear, confident voice fills the room. More than that, her inflection is pristine. Damn. She knows how to exactly apply emotion behind each line she recites, bringing the words to life. Jesus Christ. Is this something she's done before? Or is she simply a natural? I glance around me. Everyone has eyes on Monica. Sayori so looks amazed. Yuri has an intense expression on her face that I don't understand. Finally, Monica finishes the recitation. The four of us applaud. Monica takes a breath and smiles. That, that was that was good. Damn. Okay. Uh, thank you very much. I was just hoping to set a good example. Are you ready to go next, Sayori? I'll, I'll go next. Oh, sh**. Oh, sh**. Yuri will go next. All right. What? Yuri's all fired up all of a sudden. Yuri clutches a sheet of paper between her hands and stands up. Keeping her head down, she quietly walks to the photo. This poem is called... Yuri anxiously glances around each of us. You can do it, Yuri. It's called After Image of a Crimson Eye. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Yuri's voice shakes as she starts reading the poem. Just a moment ago, she practically refused to do this. Why is she suddenly putting in so much effort? As Yuri gets past the first couple of lines, her voice changes. It's almost like what happens when Yuri gets absorbed into her books. Her quivering words transform into a sharp syllable of a fierce and confident woman. Oh boy! The poem is full of twists and turns in its structure that she enunciates with perfect timing. Okay. This must be a rare glimpse into the whirling fire Yuri keeps concealed inside her head. Suddenly, she's finished. Everyone is stunned. Yuri snaps back into reality and glances around her and she's bewildered by even herself. I, it's up to me to save this situation. I'm the first to start applauding. Everyone joins me after we give Yuri the recognition she deserves. Hey, it's not that we didn't want to applaud for her, but we were caught so off guard that we must have forgotten. As we applaud, Yuri holds the poem to her chest and rushes back into her seat. Yuri, that was really good. Thank you for sharing. Looks like Yuri is down for the count. Okay, guess I'm next then. So Yuri hops out of her chair and cheerfully walks to the podium. All right. This one's called My Meadow. Sorry, I giggled. <laughs> hey, 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 I did it again. <laughs> Sayori, it's a lot harder than I thought. You're laughing? Jesus. How do you guys do it so easily? Ah, try not to think of it like you're reciting it to other people. Imagine you're reciting it to yourself, like in front of a mirror, or in your own head. It's your poem, so it'll come out the best that way. I see, I see. Okay, then. Sayori begins her poem. Somehow it feels like her soft voice was made as perfect as a perfect match. The poem isn't aimless, cheery like the poem isn't aimlessly cheery like Sayori is. It's serene and bittersweet. If I were to read this on paper, I wouldn't think much of it. But hearing it come out of Sayori's voice almost gives it a whole new meaning. Maybe this is what Sayori meant by she said she likes my poems. It's like I get to reach more deeply into someone I thought I knew through and through. Sayori finishes and we applaud. I did it! Good job, Sayori! Hey, even Achi Lord liked it. I guess that's a good sign. Does that even mean, dude? It came out nicely, Sayori. The atmosphere of the poem fits you really nicely. But it might be that other poems wouldn't work quite well as well with that kind of delivery. Eh? I don't really understand. In other words, I've seen poems of yours where that sort of gentle delivery wouldn't work as well. They might need a little more force behind them, depending on what you're reading. Oh, I know what you mean. That's, well, I've been practicing that kind of thing. It's just embarrassing to do it in front of everyone. <laughs> the next time I'm going to make you pick a poem that challenges you a little bit more. We don't have much time before the festival, you know. Oh. We're okay. Now who's next? Natsuki. Huh. Don't make me go before Etchi Lord. It's not like I can compare to you guys anyway. Might as well let Etchi Lord lower everyone's standards a little before I have to do it. Yo! Natsuki. It's fine. It's fine. You bitch. I'll get it over with. It's not like I have much of a selection. It's not like I have much of a selection of what to read. I'll just have to go with what I have wrote for today. Okay. Oh god, that's so fucking ah! 
<laughs> this is a little awkward though. They're all looking at me. Oh my god. Making me feel terribly awkward. You're damn right it's awkward. I recite my poem. Since I'm not exactly confident in my own writing, it's hard to put energy into it. Despite that, once I've finished, I received the plus anyway. So I'm not really good as everyone else. Don't worry about it so much. I think it's less about your abilities and more about what you lack of confidence in your writing. That's something that'll improve over time though. Yeah, maybe. Alright then. That just leaves you, Natsuki. Yeah, yeah, I'm going. Natsuki begrun begrudgingly gets out of her seat and makes her way to the podium. The poem is called... It's called... Wh Why are you all looking at me? <laughs> that's... That's the point, that's okay! Because you're presenting, Monica says. Natsuki goes... Huh. Anyway, the poem is called Jump. Natsuki takes a breath. When she starts reciting the poem, her sour attitude disappears a little. <laughs> sour is the right word to use. While a little unenthused, her poem has a rhythm and a rhyme to it. It's Natsuki's trademark style, and it works surprisingly well when spoken out loud. The words feel like they're bouncing up and down as if it was giving life to the poem. Natsuki finishes, and everyone applauds. She huffs back into her seat. That wasn't so bad, was it? Easy for you to say. You'd better not make me do that again. Ah, well. Do you at least feel prepared enough to recite the poem in front of other people? I mean, doing it in front of people will be way easier. I can put on whatever face I want for the people. <laughs> but when it's just my friends, it's just embarrassing. That's a surprise, Natsuki. I would think it would be the other way around for me. Yeah, true. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm the other way too, man. I wouldn't want to... I would still be ashamed to present this in front of a bunch of people. My friends are a lot easier because they don't give a sh**. Well, that's just how it is, so... Well, I guess in that case, you wouldn't have much to worry about for the festival. That said, I want to thank everyone for coming through. It might be hard, but I hope that you all have an idea of what's... of what it's like now. Make sure you pick a poem and get enough practice before the festival, okay? I'll be making pamphlets, so let me know ahead of time what you'll be reciting. Jeez, I should probably find some other poem to recite then instead. It's just, it doesn't have to be your own. I'm already presently surprised that you're putting in all of this effort for the club. It makes me really happy. I, I'm about to peek. I'm, I, I'm about to peek in there. Hey, yeah, no problem. Okay, everyone. I think that's about it for today. I know the festival is coming up, but let's try to write poems for tomorrow as well. It's been working out really nicely so far, so I'd like to continue that. As for the festival, we'll finish planning tomorrow and then we'll have the weekend to prepare. Monday's the big day! I can't wait! I can't do this! I, I mean, I can't I can do this! I can't! <laughs> alright, alright, alright. I stand up. There's no way I'll be able to find the same enthusiasm as Sayori and Monica, but I'll do my best to get through it. Yes, if it's for the sake of the club at least, and impressing Monica, then I'll have to do my best. Ready to go, Sayori? Yep. Look at you two, always going home together like that. It's kind of adorable, isn't it? Hehehehe. <laughs> Jeez, guys. Don't make such a big deal out of it. It must be a little nicer, though. You know, I, I would rather go with Yuri than... I. <laughs> How am I supposed to respond like that? Yeah, true. It's okay, Chilor. You don't have to say it. Whatever, let's go already. <laughs> I will come with Sayori once more. Even though it's only been a few days, a lot of things have already changed. But today, Sayori is being a little quieter than usual on the way home. Hey, Sayori. Uh, sorry, I was spacing out. No wonder. Um, I was thinking about something from earlier. I like I like how I mean Sayori fumbles with her words. So let's just say that one day Yuri asked to walk home with you. I would come in my pants. <laughs> I would I would come, Sayori. But that's a good question. Next time it'll be a rhetorical one. Well what kind of question is that? You're kind of putting me on the spot here. <laughs> oh sh so, I would still walk home with Sayori. I would not walk home with Yuri. Sh I have to save. <laughs> I'm saving. Save. Saving. Saving. Return. This is what the game meant, or what Monica meant by saving the game. I like Yuri more. I'm attracted to her more. She's got bigger badongies. Badingies. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't. I can't. I'll, but I'll save this moment. I'll save at this point where I get another choice. Walking home with Yuri, huh? Why does that? 
Why does the thought of that make my heart pound? Given how hard it is for her to socialize, I would feel awful turning her down, so isn't she so beautiful and smart? That has nothing to do with what I just said. Ah, you admitted it. Jeez, there's not even any point in speculating something that's never gonna happen. Well, maybe. I just like to think about it. It's not long before you won't need me anymore, you know. Oh, Sayori. Need you? Sayori? I can't figure out how you're seeing things in your own head right now. Sorry. Everyone is different. Nobody in the club is a replacement for you. Hmm. If you say so, the conversation trails off and I'm left feeling awkward. But it was kind of her fault for trapping me in a weird question. I can't just lie to her. Yeah, man, I can't. I'm sorry. Yuri's hot, dude. I can't. And if there's something that makes her happy, I would hate to take that away from her. That's why I said there's no point in speculating. Then again, the festival is only a few days away, so who knows what will happen in that time. Oh, okay, and we're back to writing poems. Alright, I'll save this. As usual, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Sticking around this long. And I'll see you guys next time when I feel the... Like it.